Mazda's safety concept is based on four pillars. Ergonomic and safe operation of the vehicle. Active safety measures that support driving safely even in difficult traffic situations. Pre-crash safety functions that aim to bring the car back into a safe situation or reduce the consequences of accidents. And passive safety to minimize the consequences of accidents for occupants and pedestrians. A central piece of passive safety in our vehicles is the correct seating position for the driver. With the best overview and intuitive operation of the vehicle that does not distract from the traffic and driving experience. The design of our cars, both the position of the A pillar at the windscreen and the B pillar at the door frame, as well as the interior design and the position of the pedals, steering wheel, controls and displays, offer the driver a clear field of vision and the optimal posture to quickly identify and avoid dangers. This is based on our human-centric philosophy. The driver must be in the ideal position to see everything and to operate the car effortlessly and intuitively. In this way, the driver is not distracted and can concentrate on driving, the road and the traffic. In order to make the driver's overview and control as intuitive and distraction-free as possible, Almost our entire range of vehicles is available with active driving head-up displays that show driving relevant information at the driver's eye level. This includes information on speed and the eye active sense safety systems, such as lane departure warnings or distance to preceding cars through the built-in radar sensors. At Mazda, we take environmental protection very seriously. Drastically reducing carbon emissions is a global challenge and the automotive industry needs to play its part. That is why we follow a plan to become carbon neutral in all areas of operation by 2050. With our sustainability strategy, we want to reduce greenhouse gas emissions strongly and deliver the joy of driving to the customer. One route to carbon neutrality is electrification. So Mazda has set itself the target of having all new Mazda models partially or fully electrified by 2030. Nevertheless, we believe that the internal combustion engine will be powering the majority of cars for many years to come, especially in long distance and larger vehicles. For this reason, and to continuously improve our environmental footprint, Mazda has set out on a path to optimize the internal combustion engine. With our roadmap towards the ideal internal combustion engine, we want to maximize efficiency and minimize CO2 emissions. In 2012, Mazda introduced the SkyActiv technologies as a first step towards highly efficient, clean and fun to drive petrol and diesel engines. Following this first step, we launched our Iska Active X petrol engine in the Mazda 3 and CX30 in 2019. This award-winning engine combines the technologies and advantages of gasoline engines with those of a diesel engine by applying spark plug controlled compression ignition. This compression ignition technology enables the combustion of a very lean air fuel mixture using a very high compression rate and spark plug to control the ignition of the lean mixture at the right time. We were aiming for the ideal performance without compromising on drivability. It is the world's first commercial car engine to combine the spark ignition of a petrol engine with the compression ignition of a diesel engine. As a result, Iska Active X is fuel efficient and responsive like a diesel engine but maintains the linear acceleration, the free revving and smooth driving associated with a petrol engine. Therefore, the engine is also very low on CO2 emissions. Following eSkyActiveX, we continue working towards the ideal internal combustion engine 
and will introduce further steps in the future, including a new generation of our clean, economical and fast-responding Skyactiv-D diesel engine. Diesel and petrol engines deliver unique performance advantages, suiting different customer demands. Both still have potential in their internal combustion efficiency and we aim to tap this. At the same time, we must understand that it's not the combustion engine that is causing the emissions of the car, but the fossil fuel that is used to power it. If a car with an internal combustion engine is fueled with a CO2-neutral e-fuel, the car releases only as much CO2 as it was previously spent for the production of this fuel. These fuels can be blended with conventional fuels and, over time, they will fully substitute fossil fuels and help us to achieve carbon-neutral mobility for all. Besides increasing combustion efficiency, electrification also plays a key role in achieving our goal of the ideal internal combustion engine. It is part of our long-term plan to combine our efficient internal combustion engines with smart electrification technologies to achieve an even higher overall efficiency. Therefore, Mazda has set itself the target of having all new Mazda models partially or fully electrified by 2030. High safety for the driver and passengers in Mazda vehicles is of prime importance for us. We aim to offer all our customers cars that combine driving pleasure, good environmental performance and highest safety standards. Based on this, Mazda is bolstering its safety research and development in order to accomplish our ultimate goal, the realization of safe, accident-free individual mobility. We do this on several fronts. Mazda's safety concept is based on four pillars. Ergonomic and safe operation of the vehicle. Active safety measures that support driving safely even in difficult traffic situations. Pre-crash safety functions that aim to bring the car back into a safe situation or reduce the consequences of accidents. And passive safety to minimize the consequences of accidents for occupants and pedestrians. Mazda's iActive Sense technology has a number of active safety technologies that assist the driver in awareness of potential hazards, accident prevention and damage mitigation. It contains various systems to increase safety and comfort so that the drivers can fully enjoy driving. We are offering a wide range of safety systems featuring radar, sensors and cameras, which means that Mazda vehicles can permanently monitor their environment. In many Mazda models, a vast number of active safety systems are available as standard equipment. In the area of accident prevention and damage minimization, the latest Mazda models offer, for example, several functions of the Smart Brake Support System. This includes various emergency braking functions in dangerous situations, for example, by suddenly braking vehicles in front. The systems are available with vehicle, pedestrian and cyclist monitoring. In addition to the front emergency braking function, the latest Mazda models also offer similar emergency braking functions for reversing in order to ensure safety during parking maneuvers, for example. Front and rear cross-traffic alert also warns drivers of other road users through cameras and radar monitoring of the traffic at T-junctions that's difficult to see or when reversing. In combination with the emergency braking system, accidents can be avoided, even if the driver has limited visibility and cannot see the traffic situation fully. Mazda models are equipped with various parking assist systems to ensure the best possible view. 
In addition to optional sensor-based parking distance systems at the front and rear, which help drivers to recognize obstacles and estimate the distance to them using auditory signals and visual information, optional parking cameras are available at the rear, front or even with 360 degree view. The best possible visibility at night is another important factor for safety. Therefore, we offer various advanced lighting technologies in our vehicles. The modern Matrix LED headlight technology with a large number of LED blocks enables driving with permanent high beam without dazzling other road users. The division of the headlights enables low beam in the section in which other road users are detected so as not to dazzle them. Dark areas without other road users will be fully illuminated with a high beam. Depending on the current traffic situation, the optional high beam automatically switches between high and low beam with the help of a camera in order to ensure optimum visibility for the driver without dazzling other road users. Blind spot monitoring using radar technology is another important piece of potential hazard awareness and therefore a task of active safety systems. Some angles are difficult or impossible to see for drivers. Therefore, various blind spot assistance systems monitor the area around the vehicle and can alert drivers to other road users. For example, when trying to change lane and another road user is driving next to the car. These systems work in combination with various active lane departure warning and lane keeping systems, which, in addition to warning signals, even allow steering interventions in an emergency to avoid accidents. The lane departure warning system uses the information from the front camera and recognizes the line markings on the road. The system warns by visual information in the instrument cluster, in the active driving display and by steering wheel vibrations if the lane markings are unintentionally driven over. If a lane change is combined with a turn indicator operation or acceleration, the system recognizes the maneuver as intended and does not issue an alarm. If the Lane Keep Assist system detects an unintentional departure from the lane defined by the lane markers, an assisting steering impulse is generated which guides the vehicle back into the center of the lane. Another road user in the blind spot who is not recognized by the driver can trigger the same system reaction. In the Mazda MX-30, the system also works without lane boundary lines and from 60 kph uses the front camera to orient itself to natural edges of roads such as curbs or plants. In addition to the external environment, the systems also monitor the driver in order to ensure the best possible protection. Driver monitoring is an advanced system that monitors the driver's condition using an infrared camera. The system records parameters such as direction of view, the eye movement, blinking, corners of the mouse and analyze them. With the help of this information, the system determines whether the driver is tired or drowsy and triggers an acoustic warning if necessary. The iActive Sense system also offers functions that increase driver comfort. Mazda Radar Cruise Control is a system that is already offered as standard in some models such as the Mazda 3, CX-30 and MX-30. It is an adaptive cruise control system with radar-based distance control. The system's basic function enables the driver to preset a speed that the vehicle should maintain on free roads. Using millimeter wave radar, the system is able to assess the relative speed and distance to the car in front and to adjust its own speed accordingly. The system works down to 30 km per hour for vehicles with manual transmission and down to standstill for vehicles with automatic transmission, where the system also can be used as traffic jam assist. This enables it to follow the vehicles in front to a standstill and then start again. Another very advanced system for the latest Mazda models is the extended traffic jam assistance function. It offers an additional automatic steering function in connection with an adaptive cruise control. It works up to 60 km per hour and supports the driver in heavy traffic, not only by automated acceleration and braking, 
but also by automated steering. We want our customers to enjoy the typical Mazda driving fun. This is only possible if they have at the same time a deep-seated feeling of being safe. To ensure this, we have established a strong active safety system that uses cameras, radars and other sensors. To deliver high performance for all customers, many of these functions are standard equipment in Mazda car. At Mazda, our goal is to deliver the Mazda unique joy of driving. One important precondition to enjoy driving is feeling safe. Our highly sophisticated, intelligent, iActive all-wheel drive technology offers a number of benefits. The system ensures safety, refined controllability and high predictability of the vehicle behavior by maximizing traction between tire and road surface in all ground conditions and all driving situations, even when driving on icy, slippery or loose surfaces and including trailer towing and different vehicle load conditions. The key is making sure that the car always has traction on the road. This requires the perfect torque distribution between the front and the rear wheels continuously. To provide ideal driving at every moment the car needs to adjust constantly to the conditions on the road. Our intelligent iActive all-wheel drive system senses both the driving conditions and the driver's intent. It then calculates and applies the ideal torque split automatically. The iActive all-wheel drive is predictive. It adjusts torque distribution before any slippage occurs. 27 different signals are used, each gathering 200 data points per second about the road, the driver and other factors that might impact the car's traction on the road. These signals are processed by an all-wheel drive control module, which for instance operates the electromagnetic multiplate clutch to engage the rear wheel drive. This way, iActive all-wheel drive can adjust the torque distribution in real time to guarantee a safe and comfortable driving experience. At the same time, the system was designed to keep low levels of fuel consumption by working very efficiently. During normal operation on ideal road conditions, the vehicle routes almost all its power to the front wheels. Just a small amount of torque is also transferred to the rear wheels. If more power is needed in the rear wheels, this standby torque ensures a smooth transition from front to all-wheel drive mode. The system used 27 signals to measure the environment of the car and the intention of the driver to switch seamlessly to all-wheel drive when needed. To assess whether the driver wants to accelerate or decelerate, the system keeps track of the accelerator position but also monitors the brake fluid pressure. It also measures the steering angle, which indicates that the driver is about to turn. iActive all-wheel drive also closely monitors all external factors that play a role in the car's traction on the road. The front wheel slip warning detection system uses various signals to calculate ground speed and front wheel speed. It immediately detects the microscopic wheel slips that act as a warning sign of potential tire spin. Additional signals monitor the wipers and measure ambient temperature to predict when roads might be slippery or in danger of freezing over. The iActive all-wheel drive system works in perfect harmony with Mazda's GVC technology to control torque distribution between the front and the rear wheels. Mazda's G-Vectoring Control System, in short GVC, is a vehicle dynamics chassis control system that optimizes wheel loads during cornering and thus it improves the vehicle handling and comfort by intervening in the engine torque. In combination with the advanced all-wheel drive control logic, it improves the neutral steer character of the vehicle. At corner entry, a mild engine torque reduction causes vertical load transfer to the front wheel to maximize the traction performance of all four wheels. When steady cornering, the engine torque restores, but more torque is distributed to the rear tires where vertical load is increasing then in order to minimize understeer. 
At corner exit, the engine torque then widely shifts back to front wheels to enhance stability. That functionality also improves controllability, so the vehicle responds faithfully to the driver's intention when engaging in active steering. In Mazda CX-5, this approach is taken one step further. Here, the all-wheel drive system includes an off-road mode that is designed especially for loose surfaces and bumpy trails. In almost all usual driving scenarios, the intelligent iActive all-wheel drive works automatically without any intervention by the driver. As required especially in very slick conditions, the system can completely lock the torque coupling in a fraction of a second fully automatically on its own. Even when the wheels leave the ground, iActive all-wheel drive will sense the situation and assure that the front and rear wheels go at the same speed. Required only for especially rough terrain, drivers of the CX-5 can switch to Mazda's off-road mode, which will deactivate the traction control system. This ensures a maximum of grip by providing the same functionality as a differential lock. The iActive all-wheel drive system stands for safety and ideal traction of the car, no matter the road and driving conditions. By measuring the environment around the car and the intention of the driver, the system can adapt smoothly and instantly to every driving situation and type of ground. The system thereby enhances the typical Mazda driving joy and adds the benefits of an intelligent and predictive all-wheel drive system that combines excellent all-road ability with good fuel economy. At Mazda, we love the joy of driving, or what we call the Jim by Itai feeling, where car and driver feel as one. At the same time, we take environment protection very seriously and constantly strive to reduce CO2 emissions through different technologies and with a sustainable long-term strategy guiding us. We have set ourselves the target of becoming carbon neutral in all areas of operation by 2050. To get there, we must adopt a holistic perspective on a car's carbon footprint. In the past, only so-called tank-to-wheel emissions were factored in, so only the gases coming out of the car's exhaust pipe. Mazda is committed to assessing the total amount of well-to-wheel emissions, taking into account all the emissions generated from producing a fuel or electricity, its distribution, filling and charging, and the final use in a vehicle. That is the reason why well-to-wheel measuring provides a more realistic and transparent account of emissions from all vehicles and drivetrains, and helps us to understand better where emissions are created and to figure out the most sustainable solutions. To serve environmental and individual customer needs at the same time, we are following what we call a multi-solution approach. What does multi-solution approach mean and how does it work at Mazda? Based on the different customer needs for individual mobility, the local driving conditions and the carbon footprint of available fuels and electricity, we aim to offer the best suitable powertrain. Accordingly, there is no most sustainable solution for the powertrain choice that suits all customers in all locations around the globe. To reduce carbon emissions overall, Mazda develops and enhances its products and powertrains for all three engine types. We believe that the internal combustion engine will help to power the majority of vehicles globally for many years to come, especially for long distance driving and in markets without a large amount of clean electricity or customers without reliable access to charging points. At the same time, we believe that electrification will play a key role in revealing the full potential of internal combustion engines and increasing their efficiency. As a part of our mid-term strategy, 
all our combustion engines will benefit from specific electric systems that support efficiency and emission reduction by 2030. Of course, we will also offer pure electric vehicles. Whilst pure electric driving is an effective solution for reducing emissions locally in urban areas and for smaller vehicles, we need further solutions for other transport demands, especially for long distance travel and larger cars. And to reduce emissions from the existing fleet, we must understand that it's not the combustion engine that is causing the emissions of a car, but the fuel that is used to power it. If a car with an internal combustion engine is fueled with a CO2-neutral e-fuel, the car releases only as much CO2 as was previously captured for the production of the fuel. Combined with an efficient internal combustion engine, renewable fuels such as e-fuels derived from green hydrogen are important additions to electrification. And we must make sure that we create a level playing field that allows us to choose from a variety of clean options, the one that best fits our individual mobility needs. Our aim is to become carbon neutral in all areas of operation by 2050. We think there is no most sustainable solution for the powertrain choice that fits to all customers in all locations around the globe. Therefore, to reach our goal, we follow a multi-solution approach. On the internal combustion engine itself, we will further optimize the combustion process of petrol and diesel engines in order to introduce new, highly efficient propulsion technologies. What we already offer today are highly efficient Skyactiv G petrol engines. They are smooth, fun to drive, and low in fuel consumption at emission levels, which makes them a great option for petrol heads. In 2019, we launched our next generation eSkyActiv X petrol engine in the Mazda 3 and Mazda CX30, a never before seen technology which was developed entirely by Mazda. Using spark controlled compression ignition, the eSkyActiv X is a crossover technology combining combustion principles from diesel and petrol engines. The outcome is an award winning engine that achieves outstanding low fuel consumption in real world driving. Despite its low and CO2 emissions, it offers customers a free revving, smooth and responsive driving experience. This combination makes our eSky Active X engine the perfect solution for a wide variety of driving scenarios, from inner city traffic to longer commutes. For applications like frequent long distance driving or towing, the diesel engine has still an important role to play. In line with our multi-solution approach, we are continuously working to create the perfect diesel engine. Our Skyactiv D engines are low on CO2 emissions and fuel consumption while delivering a powerful driving experience. And soon we will introduce a new generation of diesel engines that will set new standards in cleanliness, performance and economy. To further optimize the environmental performance of our combustion engines, the 24 Volt Mazda M hybrid system is already standard with Mazda 3 and CX-30 petrol engines as well as optional on the Mazda 2. It enhances the fuel consumption and driving comfort without external charging. Larger and therefore heavier vehicles like the new models we are introducing with our large platform soon are being fitted with a larger electrification solution. Plug-in hybrid solutions, for example, combine internal combustion engine and electric powertrain with electric motor and battery. This concept enables external charging and pure electric driving with a reasonable driving range from the battery. This is an efficient solution since plug-in hybrid vehicles ideally cover daily driving demands on the battery so the car can drive locally emission-free. Ideally, it's fueled with the green electricity. Additionally, 
The internal combustion engine ensures highest mobility for long distance driving when it's needed. In addition to this, battery electric vehicles are part of our multi-solution approach. Battery electric vehicles are driving locally emission-free and are therefore a valuable asset for urban traffic in order to reduce emissions in cities. At the same time, they can recuperate energy from braking which benefits their urban driving range. Electric vehicles offer a pleasant, unique driving experience due to the high responsive and silent electric motor. We believe car batteries must be reasonably sized so that the car can easier offset the larger carbon footprint from production over its lifetime, driving on sustainable produced green electricity. With the MX-30, we offer a full electric vehicle that follows this approach. According to the WLTP measuring cycle, it covers up to 265 km in urban areas and 200 km in combined range. And the reasonably sized battery of the MX-30 also benefits the driving dynamics with a lighter weight that suits the vehicle. With the instant power and torque delivery and the superior response of the electric motor, the MX-30 embodies the unique joy of driving that Mazda is known for. The core of our multi-solution approach is to combine the needs of our customers for affordable individual mobility with the requirements of pursuing the path to climate neutrality. To do so, we develop powertrains with different degrees of electrification. This means we can offer multiple solutions that best suit the local market and society's demand for sustainability. Mazda has set out a clear electrification strategy to reduce carbon dioxide emissions in two ways. Firstly, we want to combine our efficient internal combustion engines with smart electrification technologies to achieve an even higher overall efficiency. This is part of our multi-solution approach, considering the individual mobility needs of our customers, the size of the vehicle, and the fitness of the region for electrified cars. As a second pillar of our sustainability strategy, we will offer full electric vehicles with a focus on life cycle emissions and a joyful driving experience. By 2030, all of our models will either be partially or fully electrified. Our range of electrified combustion engine starts with the Mazda M-Hybrid concept consisting of the Skyactiv engines complemented with a 24-volt mild-hybrid electric system. This 24-mild hybrid is compact and highly efficient, reduces fuel consumption and increases driver comfort. It enhances the fuel economy by recycling energy recovered during deceleration. And this is how it works. A belt-driven integrated starter generator converts the kinetic energy recovered during the deceleration into electric energy, which is then stored in the battery. A DC-DC converter is used to convert this electricity to the appropriate voltage in order to cover the energy consumption of the car's electric equipment. Beside battery charging, the integrated starter generator can also release energy this means adding torque to the crankshaft in order to support the engine. But the M-Hybrid system doesn't only enhance the car's environmental performance. It also ensures a better drivability. When the car is starting, accelerating or coming to a stop, transitions feel even more smooth and natural. By substituting electric engine torque for motor torque, the hybrid system can reach the same acceleration as petrol engines while using less fuel. Mazda is about to expand the electrification lineup further by introducing plug-in hybrid solutions. This is ideal for customers who frequently drive longer distances where a pure electric vehicle cannot offer sufficient driving range. Compared to regular hybrid powertrains, plug-in hybrids benefit from a larger level of electrification this system offers purely electric driving 
over medium distances and external charging of the battery, in addition to the energy recovery through recuperation. Fast plug-in hybrid vehicles can be a great option for daily driving and commuting on the electric engine and are therefore locally emission-free. But the internal combustion engine can also drive the wheels directly or in conjunction with the electric motor. With these advantages, plug-in hybrid vehicles are a great solution for daily electric driving and commuting with the option to drive longer distances on the internal combustion engine. For driving short to medium distance, like in urban areas or when driving in countries with green energy generation, a fully electric car can be the most environmentally sustainable option. That's why Mazda launched its first fully electric vehicle, the Mazda MX-30, in 2020. It has a compact, reasonable size 35.5 kWh lithium-ion battery, which gives it a WLTP measured range of 265 km in urban areas and 200 km combined range. The smaller battery widely reduces the CO2 footprint of the Mazda MX-30 over the entire life cycle. Battery electric vehicles drive locally emission-free and therefore drive environmentally friendly with green electricity, but battery production releases high amounts of CO2 which increases with the size of the battery. Due to the larger battery, electric vehicles have already released more CO2 during production than vehicles with internal combustion engines. Thus, battery electric vehicles must be powered by electricity from sustainable sources. With CO2 free driving, they can offset the CO2 share released during battery production over the entire life cycle. In this way, electric vehicles are supposed to achieve a lower CO2 level than vehicles with combustion engines over the entire life cycle. In order to achieve this, the battery of the MX-30 is intentionally designed to be compact and lightweight in order to keep the CO2 emissions of the vehicle low over the entire life cycle, from production and driving to recycling. With the MX-30, we offer a car that combines a low CO2 footprint over the entire life cycle with a reasonable range for the typical urban and daily usage of a battery electric vehicle. For customers with a demand for higher driving range, we will introduce more suitable electrified concepts based on our multi-solution approach. Our goal is to combine typical Mazda driving fun with a sustainable, thought-through strategy to reduce emissions. Electrification is an important part of our strategy to contribute to the decarbonization of traffic. With models having different degrees of electrification, we will meet the needs of our customers for their individual, affordable and sustainable mobility. To achieve this, we will continue to further develop both internal combustion engines and electric drive systems comprehensively.